Welcome, a new video by DJ's BRC. We're back with Project Cherokee. Before we continue again with the project, I would like to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com Check out the website, it's awesome. We're now in the bag F. We're going to mount the physical uh, battery tray. Now, in the battery tray, they do offer you to put your battery a little bit tighter in the tray itself. I'm ne I never use these guys here because when I use the physical strap, I put it so tight that the battery does not move. But if you feel more comfy having your battery tighter in the case itself, they do offer you spacers to you put on that side and your battery just squeezes in the middle here this i'm not going to use grabbing our tray here we need to put our servo tray on the side of it looking at the diagram right here that's going to be 29 we're going to grab one of our screws And screw it underneath. Seriously? There we go. <clears throat> Again, you don't want to over tighten these guys here because you will strip them. But if it does happen, you do strip one of these screws here. Don't worry. If you have a little bit of CA glue, the same glue you use to glue your tires, you just put a little bit on the thread itself, screw it in, it will fill up the threads. And you'll be back in no time. I do have a video on that. And if you want to go check the other videos I have, I do show how to do that exactly. Now, if you are trying to fix a vehicle, you don't have the manual with you, that's no problem. Visit the manufacturer of your vehicle. If it's not an Axial, find the model of your vehicle and you'll be able to find the physical manual for it. Now we have our last one here. Making sure I put it way now again if these are not 100% straight that's okay well come time to put them in the rails we'll be able to play with them a bit <clears throat> now let's go to step 30 itself it's asking us to mount the servo I'm not mounting the servo right away, but these are the mounts for the servo itself. But we can put that in in the meantime, that way we don't lose anything here. Looking here, it's A114, A114 is these two guys here. So it's going to go in the hole here. No, I'm not going to tighten these guys all the way. Because I will physically remove, uh, remove them when it comes time to put the servo in. A 
I'm just gonna keep it loose and these are the screw fits that you use to put your servo I'm just gonna put them at the end should put those before putting these guys in would have been a little bit easier What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this one. Can't put any pressure to start the screw in the thread. There we go. Trying to remember here. I may not even need to put this one here, but I'll just leave it there for the moment because it is, is raised. The other side is not raised. But again, depending on the servo you grab, you might need it. But I'm just going to leave it loose here. That way I don't lose everything here. Because even in the book, they say just to put one here. But in the meantime, if I ever need it, it's going to be safe with the rest of the stuff. Now, there is two holders here that holds your physical wire. Uh, they're not with me here. Uh, but these are two ones I'm not going to use. Just the way I know I'm going to mount this one here. It's going to be a little bit differently. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.